Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, if you don't mind standing to your feet and giving the Lord some praise. I think the Bible said, let everything that have breath praise you, the Lord. Come on, somebody. Give the Lord some praise. Come on, somebody. Come on, lift up holy hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Lift up holy hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Declare. Hallelujah. That's what the atmosphere that the Lord can dwell in. Amen. The Bible said, with two or three, I gather together in his name. He's in the midst. Come on, to the atmosphere that the Lord can dwell in. Amen. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As our praise team come forth to take us high in our service, as we see them with a hearty, amen. Amen. Come on, praise team. The Lord is my light, and he is my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? Hallelujah. Even my enemies and my foes, they're going to stumble and they're going to fall. But this one thing I do know, I am going to see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will wait on you. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. The Lord, the Lord is my light and salvation. Who shall I fear? Who shall I be afraid? The Lord is. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will wait on you. I will trust in you, Jesus. I will trust in you. Yes, Lord. I will trust in you, Lord. Hallelujah. I will trust in you. I will remain, I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will remain, I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? Oh, Lord, the Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will wait on you. I will trust in you, Lord. Hallelujah. I will trust in you till I die. I will trust in you. I will remain. I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will I'm put it in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. If you believe the Lord and you can make this declaration with us, let's just praise the Lord and let the people know that we believe in the goodness of you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to set our hope on Him and Him alone. Hallelujah. We set our hope 
upon you we set our hope on your love we set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God you are the everlasting God we set our hope on you we set our hope on you we set our hope on your love we set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. and there's no one like you lord no you way everlasting you are we set our hope on you we set our hope on you we set our hope on your love we set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God? You are, you are the everlasting you are Lord. God. One more time, Hallelujah! We set our hope on You. We set our hope on You. We set our hope on Your love. We set our hope on the One who is the everlasting God. Yes, You are Lord. I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. Can you sing that for me one more time? Hallelujah. I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will wait on you. Seems like the hardest thing to do sometimes, but I will wait on you. Hallelujah. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We put our hope in him, amen? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. How many of y'all know the blood still works? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will never lose its power. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on, put your hands together. The blood still works. The blood still works. The blood still works. It will never, never lose its power. The blood still works. Come on, put your hands together. The blood still works. 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 It will never, never lose its power. The blood still works. The blood still works. Come on, y'all, sing it with the blood. The blood still works. The 
The blood still works. The blood still works. It will never lose its power. The blood still works. I know it works. Come on. Because he raised me. I know it works. Because he saved me. I know it works. Because he filled me. I know it works. Because he healed me. I know it works. Come on. Because he raised me. I know it works. Because he saved me. I know it works. Because he filled me. I know it works. Because he healed me. It will never. Yes, I 
Yes, Lord. Come on, somebody, get a little praise. The blood still works. What's y'all say, pray, team? somebody hallelujah amen the blood still work uh, that's a powerful statement right there amen amen welcome to new generation church of our lord jesus christ amen we are here to allow the lord to use us in such a time as this amen Amen. We hope you got your Bibles today because we want to break bread. We want to begin to establish and get an understanding as it relates to the power of the Holy Ghost. Did y'all get that? The power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We thank the Lord for the opportunity to come t into your homes, into your hearts today. Because truly, you could be any place else, but you had a lot of Lord to order your footsteps to be right here with New Generation. Amen. Amen. Join me in the gospel according to St. John, the 14th chapter, verse number 15. as you are turning to that particular scripture on this upcoming Friday we're going to be celebrating with our brother in the Lord and his church Pastor James Mills and Christ First Church of the Apostolic Faith Amen it's going to be in South it's going to be in Dearborn Southfield Amen Dearborn at the Double Tree Hotel. You have a flyer on our Facebook page, and we hope that you can join us on this upcoming Friday at the um, Double Tree Hotel in Dearborn. Service starts at 7 p.m. Amen. Service starts at 7 p.m. We're also going to be here live on Facebook, but if you can join us, it's nothing like being there in person. Amen. Amen. Do you have the gospel according to St. John, the 14th chapter, beginning at verse 15? Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now in the name which is above every name, in the name of your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your long suffering. Thank you for being the true and living God. For, Lord, we put our trust in you. Now, Lord, use me. Not my words, but let your words come forth. It was all ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to us, the church. 
Bless those who's under my voice. Bless those who's viewing us through social media. And be ever mindful to give you all the honor and the glory in the name which is above every name, in the name of your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen to these words. Once again, the gospel according to St. John, the 14th chapter, verse number 15, these words are recorded. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give unto you a comforter that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, nor knows him, but ye know him, for he will, for he dwells with you and shall be in you. Amen. I want you to bookmark this particular passage of scripture and join me also in the first chapter of the book of Acts. The first chapter in the book of Acts, looking at verse number eight. The first chapter of the book of Acts, looking at verse number eight. Amen. We had a wonderful teaching this morning. Amen. Here at New Generation, every first and third Sundays is our Bible application ministry. Amen. That's under the leadership of our own very assistant pastor, Elder Fred Lindsay. Also, um, after the Bible study, we're going to have a meeting with our singles, a meeting with our couples, those who are pursuing to get married, those who are married. We're going to continue to build, amen, because New Generation want to be a ministry that focuses on the whole entire family, making sure we are needing the needs of God's people, amen, amen. So once again, in the book of Acts, the first chapter, verse number eight, these words are recorded. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Ye shall be a witness unto me, both in Jerusalem, Sedea, Samaria, and the utmost parts of the earth. Amen. Once again, we're going to be ministering from the point of view, power, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost power. Amen. We got to understand the role of the Holy Spirit in our lives today. If we were to look in the scriptures and see in the Old Testament how the Holy Spirit played its role in the Old Testament, the Bible says that the Lord led the children of Israel by a cloud by day and a pillow of fire by night. Now understand something. In order for the children of Israel to go anywhere, they had to make sure the Lord was leading them. Amen? The Holy Spirit is here today to lead us to guide us, to make sure that we have everything we need in order for us to make the rapture. The Holy Spirit, the Bible says, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. So that's why the Bible puts emphasis on that we receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because once you receive the Holy Spirit, the Bible declares that you are now a new creature in Christ. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become what? New. So with that being said, we see the importance of us receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us, no, you're not, that you are the temple of the living God. Because now you have to receive the Holy Spirit, and because the living God now dwells in you. I heard one writer say, greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Amen. But what the adversary tries to do, and the adversary have done his best to deceive the Lord's people, to not realize the power and authority that they have in the Holy Ghost. See, the Holy Ghost is not just a shouter. The Holy Ghost is not just tongues. 
But the Holy Ghost is the power of God that dwells in you, that equips you to be everything that the Word of God has declared you to be. And understand, to the child of God, the adversary does not want you to realize the power and authority that you have through the Holy Spirit. In the book of Acts, it says that ye shall receive power. Now, what power do you have? Or what power do you have access to? Understand, when the Holy Spirit abiding you and you and the Holy Spirit, when you abide in God's word and God's word abiding you, do you not know that now you are a lethal weapon to the kingdom of darkness? Do you not know that you can begin to embrace that identity? He said that you shall be a witness unto me. To understand, the Lord wants us to allow the Holy Spirit to develop us, to mature us, that we can be a witness for the Lord. See, we all have been called out of darkness to his marvelous light. But one thing we got to make sure, that the Holy Spirit is not just upon us, but the Holy Spirit is in us. Because the Holy Spirit wants to lead us and guide us into all truth. Amen? Let's go to the book of the Gospel according to St. John. The 15th chapter. The Gospel according to St. John, the 15th chapter. See, sometimes we are so busy abiding in the things of the world and not abiding in the Lord's word. When we stop to, to abiding in the Lord's word, we are doing ourselves an injustice. We feed more to our flesh than more to our spirit. We are doing ourselves an injustice because when you feed to your spirit, when you allow the mind of Christ to develop within you, when you allow your heart to be um, circumcised with the word of God, David said, I have hid your word in my heart that I will not sin against thee. And see, the Lord knows that if we would abide in his word, listen to this, what he said. The gospel according to St. John, the 15th chapter, verse number one. He said that I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purged it that it may bring forth more fruit. See, the Lord wants us to be fruitful. And the Holy Spirit would make sure that we are fruitful. And I'm not just talking about any fruit. But I'm talking about the fruit of the spirit. See, so many people would spend so much just looking for peace. But do you not know that peace comes with the Holy Spirit? Amen. So many people would spend so much looking for deliverance. But do you not know that deliverance comes with the Holy Ghost? Amen. So many people would spend so much looking for um, joy and love. But do you not know that joy and love comes with the Holy Ghost? And see, when you fail to abide in the Lord's word, when you fail to set aside that time, that quiet time, somebody say quiet time. That quiet time where it's just you and Jesus. To understand, when you set aside that quiet time, that's when the Lord will begin to show you something. The Lord will begin to, 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 to enlighten you about what, what's, what's in you. Because when we are ignorant to what's, what's in us, we can be deceived. But when we know that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world, we know that we are being equipped with the whole armor of God. That we know that there's no weapon formed against us that shall prosper. Then we can stand flat footed and let be like David said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. The Lord wants us to be fruitful. Because when we are more fruitful, we are now being transformed into the image and the likeness of Christ. Amen. And when we become in the image and likeness of Christ, then our lights can shine. Do y'all hear that? See, when your light is shining, the Bible says that man will glorify see your good works and glorify your heavenly father. Amen. When your light is shining, see, you are now lifted up the Lord. And the Lord said, if you would, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. Amen. But when your light ain't shining, you will push people away. But when your light is not shining, people cannot see the Christ in you. 
See, the Lord does not want your flesh to be seen, but the Lord wants the people to see the Christ in you. And when you got the Holy Ghost in power, people will see the Christ in you and say, what must I do to be saved? Go have a little church. He said that, now ye are cleansed through the word what I have spoken unto you. Verse number three. Do you see how the Holy Ghost and how the Lord's word, when it comes together, people look for deliverance all in the wrong places. People look for people for deliverance. And the only way that you can receive deliverance is through the word of God. It's through the Holy Spirit. Let me give you scripture. This woman had an issue of blood for 12 years. And she looked everywhere and spent everything she had. But nothing got better but got worse. And the Bible says that one day she heard within herself, if you could just touch the hymn of coming, you could be made whole. Understand something, son of God. When you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you, when you allow the Holy Spirit to take control of everything that you exist of, the Bible declares when you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, he would exalt you in due time, in due season. But when you are determined to do your own thing, when you are determined to, to, to still live by the unbutter, me, myself, and I, you will miss out on what the Holy Ghost want to give to you. You will become unfruitful and you will miss out on your deliverance. But when you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, when you can come to a place and say, Lord, not my will, but let thy will be done. When you can come to a place and say, Lord, I'm willing to pick up my cross and follow you. I don't care who lead me, who's talking about me, but Lord, I have come to a place in my life, like Paul said, I have come fully persuaded in my mind that nothing shall separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. The Holy Ghost and power. The power he gives us through the Spirit. He gives us power to speak things into existence. The Bible says that know you not that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And when you get connected with the Holy Ghost, And you truly understand how powerful your tongue is. When you get connected to the Holy Ghost and understand that you can speak to your mountain. And not only speak to your mountain, but your mountain got to be cast into the sea. So a lot of times we spend so much energy all in the wrong places. But if we just humble ourselves and pray, how many know about the power of prayer? How many know about the power of prayer? He said, with all things that you believe and you pray for, you shall receive. And see, when you begin to go into prayer, and when you begin to speak to your mountain, when you begin to speak to your situations, when you begin to lean not to your own understanding, but you begin to announce the Lord in all your ways, that he may direct your paths. And see, sometimes it may sound crazy, the path may the Lord may direct you, but because he is the author and finisher of our faith, because he has all power in heaven and earth, because how he directs us, it may sound crazy, but when the Lord directs us, he directs us to victory. He directs us to over to be more than overcomers. He directs us to make sure that we have victory through Jesus. He said, I am the vine and ye are the branches. If you abide in me and my word shall abide, you abide in me and I in, and you shall bring forth much fruit. See, understand, we got to take this serious. When we begin to really abide in the Lord, abide in Jesus, abide in his word, when we really allow the Holy Spirit to take full control of our essence, understand some child of God, the children of Israel was totally dependent on the Holy Spirit. The, the children of Israel was totally dependent on that cloud by day and that pillow of fire by night. See, even though the Holy Spirit is not 
physical with us. We can't see it. But the Holy Spirit is in us. And once you get baptized with the Holy Ghost, once you get baptized with the Holy Ghost, if anybody on the side of my voice know the power, know how it felt, know your spirit, that when you got baptized with the Holy Ghost, it's a thing, it's a, it's a spirit that you will never forget. Because I remember when I got baptized with the Holy Ghost, my life changed from that day forward. Understand, so the child of God, the devil not, does not want us to be mindful of the power we have through the Holy Ghost. To understand something, let me, let me talk to y'all singles out here. The Holy Ghost is a comforter. The Holy Ghost will comfort you more than a man's comfort. The Holy Ghost will comfort you more than a woman's comfort. To understand something, child of God, once you begin to really understand or experience the comfort of the Holy Ghost. See, I heard one writer say, as long as I got King Jesus, I'm not saying you don't need a husband, but the Holy Ghost will give you the power to stand and to the Lord bring your husband. I'm not saying you don't need a wife, but the Holy Ghost will give you the power to stand to the Lord, bring you your wife. And see, understand something, child of God. See, the Holy Ghost is a present help in a time of trouble. See, I have, I'm a living witness that I have got myself in trouble plenty of times. But when I would start praying, the Holy Ghost came, the Holy Ghost showed out, and not only did he come and show out, but the Holy Ghost set me free. The Holy Ghost provided the limits for me. So what you saying, preacher? The Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, the Lord is not always speak the person what he did for me he can do it for you hallelujah he said that once you receive the holy ghost you shall receive power power and authority understand something child of god see we don't realize who we really are because when we realize who we really are our minds would change our attitude would change. Our talk would change. Our look would change. Don't you not know that the Holy Ghost have now made sure that you are rapture ready? The Holy Ghost have now made sure your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The Holy Ghost will make sure that you got ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. The Holy Ghost will make sure that there's no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. The Holy Ghost will make sure that you will be able to tread on serpents. The Holy Ghost will make sure that if you just continue to do the Lord Lord's will that you will hear these words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. If you continue to press towards the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus, the Holy Ghost will make sure that you will hear these words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Give the Lord some praise up in here. Hallelujah. Understand something, child of God. In the book of Peter, the fifth chapter, the Bible says that the devil walking around like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. And so many of God's people have been devoured because they don't they don't know the power they have through the Holy Ghost. Or they've been undeveloped. So what you saying, preacher? I want you to understand that you can't become undeveloped. You can't become unfruitful. You gotta make sure that the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's not just flooding in you uh, but like David said uh, I want my cup uh, to overflow uh, I want my cup uh, to overflow uh, listen to these words uh, humble yourself therefore uh, under death on the mighty hand of God uh, that he may exalt you in due time uh, casting all your cares upon him uh, that he cares for you uh, understand something child of God uh, the Holy Ghost will give you the power to cast all your cares on the Lord the Holy Ghost will give you the power to cast all your cares on him how many want to be free today uh, how many want to be free uh, to praise like you want to praise them? How many want to be free today uh, to worship like you want to worship? Uh, how many want to be free today to, 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 to serve like you want to serve? You don't want to be bound to your mind, uh, bound to your emotions, but let the Holy Ghost set you free. Uh, let the power of Jesus set you free. The Bible says uh, in the book of 1 Peter, uh, the fifth chapter, uh, the, 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 the eighth verse, uh, he said, be sober, uh, be vigilant, because uh, the devil, uh, as a roaring lion, uh, walking about seeking who he may devour, uh, the Holy Ghost will make sure uh, that you are sober. Uh, how many people out there is drunk in the world? Uh, how many people are out there is being led by false doctrines, uh, doctrines of the devils? Uh, how many people have been deceived? Uh, but baby, I want to tell you something. Uh, once you got the Holy Ghost, uh, the Holy Ghost will not allow you to be deceived. Uh, once you got the Holy Ghost, uh, the Holy Ghost will lead you and guide you to all 
about you. What you got the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost will make sure that you are anchored on Christ. That's Zion Rock. Hallelujah. Understand something. We pray for material things. We pray for things that we think is going to bring us happiness. We pray for things that we think are going to bring us joy. But I guarantee you, if you just change your prayer life and start saying, Lord, make sure I'm filled with your spirit. Lord, make sure that I'm filled with your spirit. I just want to be filled with your spirit. But I want my cup to overflow with your spirit. I want my mind to be transformed. I want my heart to be transformed. Form. I want people to see you in me. Make sure, Lord God, that my footsteps are ordered by you. Make sure the Holy Spirit is leading me and guiding me to all truth. Lord, make sure that I am what you want me to be in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. If you are grateful for the Holy Ghost, if you are grateful for the Holy Ghost, look at your neighbor say, neighbor, I don't know about you, but I'm grateful for the Holy Ghost. I'm grateful for the Holy Ghost. I'm grateful for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the book of John, in the book of James, it talks about diverse temptations. Understand something. We all are dealing with diverse temptations. We all got different temptations that we are dealing with. And some of us fail when it comes down to those temptations. But I just want to let you know something. But when the Holy Ghost get a hold of you, and we know what the devil may throw your way, the Holy Ghost will give you power to resist the devil. The Holy Ghost will give you power to tell that foot for the devil no 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 I'm not gonna be a victim huh, to your temptation I'm not gonna be a victim huh, to your tricks I'm not gonna be a victim huh, cause I know huh, who dwells in me I know huh, who lives in me I know huh, who's on my side I know the power the authority that I have through the Holy Ghost so I'm gonna stand still and bless the Lord at all times I'm gonna stand still and keep a praise in my mouth Hallelujah. Understand, for the child of God. In the book of James, it talks about uh, diverse temptations. Uh, understand something. Uh, the adversary want to tempt everybody up in here. Uh, the adversary desire uh, to stiff you as weep. Uh, the Bible said the enemy come to steal, kill, and restore. Uh, because that we live in a time we live in. Uh, the fight is even the worse. Uh, I just want to let somebody know uh, that when you got the Holy Ghost, uh, the Holy Ghost, uh, I'm not, not talking about the world Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm talking about the Holy Ghost like the day of Pentecost. Uh, the Holy Ghost with the fire. Uh, I'm not talking about just any fire. Uh, I'm talking about that consuming fire. I'm talking about that anointing. Uh, that anointing that restores every yoke. Uh, when you got that inside of you, uh, don't you know you can walk in victory? Uh, you can live in victory. Uh, you can talk in victory. Uh, when you got that inside of you, uh, there's no turning back then. Uh, oh, take to see uh, how great the Lord is. Uh, oh, take to see how merciful the Lord is. Oh, take to see what the Lord do in your life. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, what the Lord doing in your life? Understand, in the book of James, the first chapter, verse number 12, the Bible said that blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he attested, he shall receive a crown of life, which the Lord have promised them, to them that love him, the Holy Spirit will help you love the Lord the Holy Spirit will help you love the Lord, the way he want to be loved, the Lord said if you love me, you will keep my commandments if you love me, you will follow my deleting, if you love me, you will be on your post uh, the Holy Spirit uh, will give you power to be on your post. Uh, the Holy Spirit will give you power to love the Lord, love the Lord, uh, to serve the Lord. It's spirit and truth. The Holy Spirit will make sure you are in good standing with Jesus. The power through the Holy Ghost. The atmosphere does not want us to come to our understanding.
the power that dwells in us. Will you know how much power you got in you? You won't allow yourself to be depressed. Will you understand how much power you got in you? You won't allow yourself to be um, bound emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Will you know that the same power that rose Jesus from the dead, that same power now dwell in you. Do y'all understand that? That power that showed up on the third day. I know we talk about how Jesus walked up to the tomb and told him to roll back the stone and said, Last has come forth. We talk about that quickening power that came and rose Jesus from the dead. That same power and authority that rose Jesus from the dead now dwell in you. And the Lord said that I have power in heaven and earth and under the earth. And I want to get that same power to you that you can tread on the surface. That same power to you that you can look at your mountain and cast your mouth in the sea. That same power to you that you can live a life that's pleasing in my sight. That same power to you that you can present your body a living sacrifice, holy and suitable to the Lord, which is your redeemer's service. That same power he want to give you that you can let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. That same power that's in him, that's in you, that when the trumpet God goes off, the dead in Christ shall raise first. And we who are alive is going to be cut up to meet the Lord in the air. But baby, if you don't get the Holy Ghost, you'll be left right here. So make sure that you got the Holy Ghost and power. Make sure you got the Holy Ghost and power. Make sure you got the Holy Ghost and power. See, I may mention that the Holy Ghost is much more than tongues. I may mention the Holy Ghost is much more than a shout. But it's nothing like a Holy Ghost party. Hey, it's nothing like a Holy Ghost party. And see, when you was in the world, you was a life of a party. They couldn't keep you seated in your seat. But for some reason, you even came over to the Lord's side. And you want to get all um, dignified. And you want to get all um, stuck up. But I need for somebody. Woo! I need for somebody. If you know where the Lord brought you from. If you know where the Lord brought you from. If you know where the Lord brought you from. If you can remember the day you got filled with the Holy Ghost. Do anybody remember the day you got filled? The day you got set free? The day you got delivered? The day you came born again? Open your mouth and give Jesus. Get alone. to praise up in here. Say thank you Jesus for the Holy Ghost. Understand from the child of God. The Bible says the Holy Ghost got many titles. It's known for the, as being a teacher. It's known as being a comforter. The spirit of truth. The spirit of Christ. But understand from the child of God. All that right there is still 
the power and anointing of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says, where two or three are gathered together in his name, he's in the midst. And not only is he in the midst, but where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, the cats can be set free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, you can receive your deliverance. So what you saying, preacher? One more thing. Hold up, Charlie. One more thing. The Bible says he inhabited the praise of his people. So this is not the time for you to be shy. This is not the time for you to hold your peace. This is not the time for you to sit there and look pretty. But if you want something from the Holy Ghost, this is an opportunity for you to stand up and get declared in the name of Jesus. with Exodus a speech but I came in power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost that your faith would not be in man's wisdom but your faith would be in the power of the Lord amen all you need is a good praise all you need is a good praise
All you need is a good praise. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Y'all hear? Y'all hear? Y'all hear? Y'all hear? Y'all hear? All you need, all you need is a good praise. All you need is a good praise. A praise that's full of faith. A praise that's full of hope. A praise directed towards the Lord. A praise that's directed towards Jesus. All you need is that type of praise. Hey! Understand, son of the child of God. You are baptized with the power of God, the authority of the Lord. The Lord now dwells in you. And the more you get in his word, the more you feed that spirit, the more that, feel, that spirit grows, the more your faith grows. Your light will shine. You will have power to become who the Lord has spoken, has declared you to be. But do not take this Holy Spirit lightly. Do not take this Holy Ghost lightly. It's more than a shout. It's more than tongues. It would make sure that you are rooted and grounded to stand and look the adversary in the eye and declare the word of God. The Holy Ghost will set you free. Set your mind free. Set your emotions free. The Holy Spirit will break generational curses off your life. Just because... Your family was one way, don't, that don't mean that you have to be the same way. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. The Holy Ghost is a keeper. If you want to be kept, the Holy Ghost is a teacher. He's a te not just spiritual things. The Lord said, I will teach you how to profit. I'm going to teach you how to profit. And he even goes on to say one that you need not for any man to teach you. But the same anointing that he have, you have received from him abide in you. So teach you all things. But that type of anointing comes with a sacrifice. It comes with a sacrifice. You can't run around with everybody. You can't be up, you can't be up in everybody's church. You can't be up in everybody's church. You have to live a life that's separate. Separate. You have to learn how to lean on Jesus. Because that type of anointing, not only does it come with a sacrifice, but it comes with suffering as well. But I'm looking at some men and women under the sound of my voice. I believe you want it. Anybody want it? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for being with New Generation on this Sunday afternoon, early, midday. We're located at 155 Cass Avenue inside the Mount Clemens High School on the rear of the school off of Cass. You will see our flags flying high. 
If you want to be saved, reach out to us. We have pastors, we have missionaries, we have men and women that want to assist you to make sure that not only that you are baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but you are baptized with the Holy Ghost. I want to make sure that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Reach out to us. That telephone number is 586-799-2626. Reach out to us. And we'll make sure we put you in the right direction. But as you know, it's time for part two of our service. And the only way that you can experience part two, you got to be here in person. So with that being said, we love you. We're praying for you. And God bless you. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody.